this world coming to? I mean, social media, as much good as it can have, shows us the reality of what's going on behind the scenes. There's a video out of former Howard Stern show writer Alyssa Jordana arrested after repeatedly beating on this guy who was unidentified in her car with her while she's on a phone call. I just can't even believe this is happening. And when I saw this, of course, I used to love listening to the Howard Stern show way back in the day when I was in my 20s. And now this was a writer on a show and the little clip I saw, which was of a few seconds, I was blown away. So I had to go find this video without further ado. What is about to happen? Distressing content. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Hi, Sarah. How are you? And then it's, okay, former Howard Stern show writer Alyssa Jordan was a physically assaulted man. Who's the dude? He looks completely depressed. He looks helpless, too. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are you, Sarah? Oh, my gosh. Thanks so much for calling. Can you hear me? Did that really just happen? In a horrifying clip, unidentified male companion will ride in your car together while live streaming. So she was live streaming. She was live streaming and had to know this was on for people to see. It looks completely twisted. Y'all, this is why mental health matters. This is why my job exists, not solely. <laughs> but when I see situations like this, I'm like, you wonder why people don't talk, speak out. There's just as much abuse that happens everywhere you never see it. You would never tell from this guy that that's happening. And he's not going to speak about it because he's embarrassed. He's humiliated. He probably feels controlled. And he probably feels like even worse is going to happen to him if he says anything. Oh, Alyssa. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are you, Sarah? I got him. Hi. Can you... Thanks so much for calling. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you great. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Please, please. So what's going on from my side? Um, I have all your nudes. I'm going to text them to you so you can see why. People are donating to the live stream. Assuming it's a Lisa now that I read it. But <laughs> she's just talking like, how are you? It's great. I have all your nudes. What is she doing? Randomly punched a man described as her boyfriend multiple times while confronting him about his alleged cheating. Even if he cheated, you don't need to punch somebody. Either side. What is it about I have your nudes? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you great. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Please, please. So what's going on from my side? Um, I have all your nudes. I'm going to send. I'm going to text them to you so you can see what um, Bahram ba Alipur is sending of women. Pull over them. <laughs> Man, now he's going at her. I hadn't seen this. Shortly after he grabbed her hair and dragged her head across the passenger seat, she began to yelp. Are they driving? Baram Alipur is sending a women. Pulled over them. No, no, please. So they are pulled over at this point. That's a good thing. Man, it's like he had enough. He was just kind of there and stuck and getting hit, almost like he couldn't, he was helpless. And then all of a sudden now he's going at her. Talk about toxic relationship. Y'all, if you're in this, get out. Just get out, y'all. There's too much of this going on. Baram Alipur is sending of women. Pull over them. No, 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 please don't, don't. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, I will. Pull over, dumb. Okay. <laughs> it almost looked like they had been used to doing this before. Like, this is just kind of a pattern of theirs. Dude, oh my goodness. Okay, I'll stop. Then she becomes helpless. This is like, love the way you lie, Eminem. You hit the nail on the head. They're going to do this until they're both destroyed. But I guess he had had enough, man. Good for you, fighting back. Don't tolerate that stuff. But I'm not sure I'd want to do it while she's driving. And from the passenger seat, I'm not sure I would drive right there anymore. I'm going to tell people like this, just leave. But you know what? So many people stay in relationships like this. Don't stay in a relationship like this. I always believe in don't judge a book by its cover, but 
this is just a live stream video and she was doing that. So I couldn't resist. I had to go back on a deep dive to find more about this because apparently this person, Elisa, has apologized for what happened publicly and I had to see it, y'all. So I thought I was done just seeing what happened, but we gotta check this out without further ado. I just gotta see it. I can't believe it's a part two of this in the same video. Here we go. Former Howard Stern show writer, Elisa Jordana issued a public apology. Man, this is showing even more of the video. I didn't get to see the whole video. I couldn't find the whole video because he was going at her and then he's like defensive. Look at Former this. Former Howard Stern show writer, Elisa Jordana issued a public apology following her arrest for domestic battery in Florida. The 30-year-old mm. expressed regret for her actions during a live stream, stating, I'm very sorry for my actions on my live stream. It's a moment I'm not proud of. Jordan Man, no joke. We're just going at his ear and everything. Here's the thing to remember mental health wise that I didn't mention before. Most of the time, this is patterned behavior. This is not the first time it happened. We all know that, right? It doesn't just happen. Number one, because you're doing it inside of a car. Number two, because it's not provoked by any particular incident ahead of time that requires beating someone. Number three, she's driving a car, which she should be paying attention to driving. Number four, she's doing a live stream, which you shouldn't be doing while you're driving a car and talking on the phone at the same time while you're doing a live stream and beating the guy next to you. All of these things shouldn't happen. And last but not least, if you're willing to do this out in public in front of other people like this on a live stream or even in a car where other people in cars could see you, then you aren't worried about what other people think. Therefore, an apology, unless it's genuine. Now, here's the genuine part. Sometimes people get shocked into it. Like, I've now realized how unbelievably horrible I look and how bad my life's gotten. It's kind of like hitting bottom for a drug addict or an alcoholic. You know, I've hit rock bottom and I've realized it. But what happens then is change. You live your life differently. You start to talk differently. You start to act differently. Her live streams would be different. The way she treats people around her would be different. You wouldn't just treat it for the camera. She would become a different person. We can't know that because we're not following her day to day. But issuing apology is just trying to smooth things over unless the behavior changes after it. But if you're willing to do this in public with other people, seeing it, then either you're doing it for attention, and this is staged, which I don't believe it is, or you don't care because where you've gotten emotionally and mentally is you just think it's okay to do whatever you want to do. Look at this. Sorry for my actions on my live stream. Man. It's a moment I'm not proud of. Jordana's apology came after she was taken into custody for allegedly physically assaulting her boyfriend, God. content creator Z ah. Scoro, during a live Content creator Z Scoro is his name. That's her boyfriend. If you're dating someone and this ever happens, you should stop dating them. You should not talk to them again. Move on with your life. This is never where a relationship should go. I, I cannot tell you more obviously, but I've seen clients in my office who act this way. I have. I've seen clients be so mean and hateful towards each other in front of me, and they walk out and they they stay married 15, 20 years. They have children. The children see it. The children grow up. Cycles repeated. Either you're going to become that abuser or you're going to find someone who abuses you. Live stream on her YouTube channel. The video showed oh, Jordana man, after and Z Scoro arguing with Jordana accusing him of cheating on her. The situation escalated as Jordana repeatedly threatened to harm Z. You see somebody out in public all dressed up. She looks beautiful, everything's great. But inside, that's why I say don't judge a book by its cover because inside, everything is horrible. Scoro, who eventually called for help and asked Jordana to pull over. The altercation continued with physical violence, resulting in Jordana being shoved out of the car by Z Scoro. Police arrived at the scene and determined Jordana to be the aggressor after reviewing the footage. <laughs> it remains unclear if Zizkoro faced any legal consequences in the incident. I doubt it because it was self-defense. It had to be self-defense. 
wasn't anything he was initiating in that video or they would have watched the video and seen that he started the whole thing. But Scoro, bro, if you stay with her, it is on you. That's all I'm going to tell people. It is not okay. It's one thing if children get hurt and they have no way, they have no power to get out and they're stuck in a family or relationship. It's another thing if you're in this, you're in a grown person. You need to get away from this as soon as possible. Hands down. Mental health matters. You need to go out and get help for this. And don't stay with somebody who's going to beat you or hit you. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about this because I can't wait to see what I'm about to hear. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.